welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Today I'm going to show you a lovely snack item. It's a sandwich, but it's a different kind of sandwich. I call it the pinwheel sandwiches. Here are the ingredients. I have a bunch of coriander leaves. I have a one cup of grated fresh coconut, one tablespoon of peanuts, roasted peanuts, four cloves of garlic, four pieces of ginger, one green chili, and I'm going to take the juice of one lemon. I have some salt, and we'll be using the butter, this is salted butter. You can use unsalted if you like for spreading on the bread slices. Okay, now I've chopped off the corners of the bread and I have wrapped it in a muslin cloth. This is a moist muslin cloth just to keep the bread nice and soft and moist because we'll be rolling it later on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap it up, leave it there. So now I'm going to actually grind everything. All these ingredients, you need to grind all this together and you would be using the juice of one lime while grinding. Add a little bit of salt and grind it without any water. So it's going to be like a really coarse paste. So after grinding all the ingredients, it comes out like this. It's a bit coarse, it's a nice coarse paste. So you don't add any water and it's supposed to be like this. So now we're going to spread some butter onto the slices of bread. Here I've used salted butter, so you have to watch the amount of salt you use for the um, ground filling. So add a little at a time and if you need more, you can always add more. So once you've done this, Add a little spread evenly on the bread slice. If you don't want it too spicy, you can always cut it on the chili. You can put half chili instead of one. So now I'm just going to roll it. Keep this together and gently roll it. It has to be a really a tight and neat roll. It's going to be like this. Now what we're going to do is, I'm just going to neatly wrap it tightly. Just add a little bit of pressure. So it's all nice and firm. You don't want it loosely wrapped up to get the shape. So this is how you're going to wrap them. And after you wrap it, so you're just going to roll it into a nice moist cloth like this. And you're going to leave it in the refrigerator for about one hour. So you can make a couple of these. I have a few slices, so I'm going to make all of them. And leave it in the refrigerator for about an hour. So then it'll set and it'll give you the right shape to get the pinwheel. So this is done, the sandwich is done. So we'll look at it after one hour. So after about an hour, I'm going to slice this roll. You can see how nice and beautifully it's bound together. So we'll cut off the corners, the ends of the roll. So make sure you have this end down while you're cutting it. Be very careful while slicing and making the pinwheel. So you can see how beautifully it's come out together. So this is how it's going to be, like a pinwheel. Here you have these beautiful pinwheel sandwiches. So it's something different from the ordinary sandwiches that you make. You can display them like this. It would be a great snack for a party or when you're having some guests for dinner. You can make something different. The usual boring sandwiches. So they look interesting. So here you have the delicious coriander pinwheel sandwiches. You can try them and enjoy them. Do send in your comments and feedback to homecooking at indiaintracks.in and do send in any recipes that you think are unique and simple. Please do send in to our website and we will definitely try and make them on our show. We don't want anything too complicated so just make it simple.